Hello, everyone. RPG King get here back with some more Lost Judgment. In the previous video, we did two, two side cases. One involved the squirrels, which we got all of them done as well. And the other one involved that we can only do if we did all the school stories, which makes sense. So that was fun all around. So now we are doing story bits here. We now have to find Detective Watanabe in Chinatown. Oh, and there he is. Yagami, why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were... In Sakurai? Sakurai. Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. And you're in the one that case, smells the worst. Why aren't you going after R.K.? Or are you, and you're just keeping me in the dark? This isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the can. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. Sure enough. Good call. Then let's. <laughs> Damn. What's he up to? Take it, you're one of the guys that don't want me to do my job. Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <laughs> don't be well, cute. We're about to have a shitty conversation. Might as well do it with a pleasant view. Do the cops yep. really believe Kawana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? You wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. You even have a warrant. To arrest Kawana? His real name's Yu Kitakata. He's been using a fake. And he services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras, too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. <laughs> How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? It means it was tampered <sighs> with. From the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups have been busy playing politics. Of course. I had a handle on things when we were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to grill Ihara. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has been scratching my head too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover-up? Yep. Corruption. It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Raise the footage. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Wow. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa Sensei's case. They're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kawana has to die in an accident. What? Ooh. As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kawana gone. And they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Dude, you know! He is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, 
I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice, and then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? Oh, are we fighting him? You never did answer the question, Nami son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, Detective? Smart ass! Here we go. Yeah. Leave it alone, Yagami. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well. I think I'll be the judge of that. You little piece of shit! I've had enough! You dead son of a bitch! Oh my god, why is my health so goddamn low? Yeah. Why was my health so goddamn low? Dumb look on their face when I do that. They have the ooh, mouth wide agap. Oh my god, that's an it. Well, that actually makes sense, but oh my god, that being an instant game over is fantastic. No, I don't want to continue on easy difficulty. Seriously, why are they asking that after only the second time I failed? Fuck you, game. I love it. I love it, though, that that's an instant game over. I mean, it sucks in a way, but at the same time, I love it. Here we go again. Oh, God. Hello. Bye, Watanabe. Bay. Boom. <laughs> he packs a punch. Granted, yes. He, well, not really a punch. He used the baton, but still. Is this the end of the chapter? This was a short chapter of so. The only reason why I was long is because I fucked their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kuwana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> this is a good track here, too. Uh, I hear you. And you're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force who would want Kawana dead. The moment we opened Sawa-sensei's case, the cops...
Kanagawa Brass had a suspect file ready to go. And they didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? We were the first to the scene, which means the bigwigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? Public security branch of the police is practically Japan's spy ring. Keeps an eye on foreign agents, gains and political groups. They don't hunt criminals so much as gather intel and analyze it to maintain the peace. Why is public security involved in Sawa-sensei's case? Seems they were interested in our case criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Mm-hmm. Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, the ones will just take their place. Ah. Uh, Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa-sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa-sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma. He doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been, or maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. Huh. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect Convenient. in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kuwana silenced, all balance out. So that's what you meant by Koana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your shit than keep a lid on it. Can't imagine it's easy for public security to pin the blame on Koana for Sawa his murder. Then again, dead men don't talk. If they get rid of Koana, that'll be enough for muddy. That'll be enough to muddy the water. So who's running the show in public security? Did they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. I'm afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. Yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? Gene Show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. What happened? Kawana has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Gene Show. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there oh now. Oh boy. Call me Jewel? Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawana's there? You're not gonna and say it you also looks like it was burned right? down. I don't have much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. They mean business. Oh boy, yeah, call me Jewel. Where is he? Yeah, right there. Like, this is the area. Come on, don't get off the board, you bitch.
Well, I really don't think there's anything for me to use these uh, points for anymore. Unless there, I haven't gotten all the equipment from the skateboard and thing. Which I may not have. I honestly don't know. How much um, SP do I have? Quite a bit. But I am going to be fighting a Maul soon. Probably do want to have all my skills. At least all the important ones. And of course, I should probably go make some extracts at some point as well. And I don't know why I went this way. You know, I still have to keep going down, I guess. You know, I didn't think so. But that's not a big deal. I can... So I should probably... Well, there's a place down there that, that I'll be able to eat at, so... Oh my lord, I don't think I've ever seen that bus before. Come on, dude! Oh my god, I don't understand what the hell is up with this. Is it because my controller's being wonky or something? It's me. I have an update for you. It seems Kawana has been spotted in Ijincho. Yeah, in Komijo, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komijo. Already? They're probably going to surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana-san. What's your plan, Yagamishi? Public security is probably behind that. And according to Nabe-san, once they capture Kawana, they'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komijo. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. Oh, and I'll dispatch Sugiurashi. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. Can I go eat first? Oh, nope. Damn it. Oh, well. This is Tsukumo. Yagamishi, please come in. Hey, I think I'm in front of Komijuro. Indeed you are. <laughs> I can see you from the drone. Then you'll notice the cops blocked the road. Any way I can get in there? Not to worry. I've already looked into an infiltration room. Better be careful here. Way to go. So, what should I do? Can you see the white car that's parked in front of the barricade? You yeah, mean the I can. That's not a car, a really but it's whatever. Small gap on the side of the car. You should be able to fit through it. Not a car, but It'll yeah. Be a tight squeeze, I'm sure. But I have no doubt in your agility, Yagamishi. Yeah, but what happens if I get spotted? You can leave that part to me. Itazo, kotsu. See him over there. Nice, Sukumo. Now's my chance. I can't take him down, can I? Nope.
Oh, I know I was interviewing you, lady, but uh, hold on a second here. I think I saw a coin. Tsukumo, where should I go from here? Komi Jewel proper seems to be located behind those construction fences. There's one door in the fence, so that's your best bet. This is dumb. I'll be honest, like, he should have saw me. Tsukumo, can I get a hand? Just leave it to me. Itazo, kotsu! I'll be honest, it's so weird that that one's in Japanese, but it's whatever. Phew, man, without getting busted. So this is Komi Jewel. Kwan should be in here somewhere. Tsukumo, keep navigating for me. And let me know as soon as you find Kawana. Huh? It's weird. Hello? Great. Technical difficulties? Now? Guess I'll just have to make my... Make my way on my own. Yeah, here we go. God, I remember this place so much. Kitakata Sensei! Show yourself! Come on, get your ass out here! Relax with the yelling, will you? You're giving away our location. How am I supposed to relax? This shit's intense! Shh, shh, shh. Tsukiyura? No shit. Didn't Tsukumo-kun tell you I was on my way? Yeah, suppose he did. Yagami-san, all these guys are RK. Does that mean RK beat the police to Kawana? No, not exactly. I just saw some cops let RK guys through. Of course they did. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? No. No, that was no mistake. Some cops are working with RK. Yeah. But why? Someone in authority on the force is trying to get rid of Kawana. So they want him to have an accident. What? That's off the scale insane. Eh, not insane really. Not, I've seen I more insane stuff in these games. RK or the cops too. James. You know where he is? I don't. Come to think of it, why would Kawana-san come to Komichu? Does he know someone here? Good question. Let's just focus on reaching the top of this place for now. Aren't there people from Komichu here? It can't be all RK. Maybe we can ask them where Kawana is. Yeah, worth a shot. As long as we don't give ourselves away. Well, let's see how fucked Komi Jewel is since this burned down. Well, obviously they didn't burn, burn down, but you know what I mean. Looks like a lot of RK muscle to me, Yagami-san. Yeah, but if that many are out searching, the silver lining is that they don't have a lead on Kawana. True. We'll just have to stay one step ahead of them then. I don't see anywhere else we can go, so let's go up those stairs. Now, I'm actually quite curious if we will meet anyone from uh, Yakuza, like from the Komi Jewel that we met at uh, 7 in here. 
Like, will we meet, um... I highly doubt we'll meet, um... Uh, Jin, uh, Jin Han, or however you pronounce his name. But, um, the, the woman? I wouldn't be surprised if we met her. Looks like this is the highest we can go. Yagami-san, we've got our cake coming in from below, too. Let's find another route on this floor. Suspicious. What the... Going higher than this. Suspicious. Oh, but I should be able to jump over on that side. Let's see how I can pass here. I can get higher if I go this way. Yeah, we should be able to get up from here. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I was that nimble. Uh, uh. Yeah, the same route as two years is going to be tough. I'll have to make my way up somehow. Uh. Motivation SS shirt. I'm always not sure to SS. Or was that a triple S? I honestly don't know. <laughs> and the RK guys are just gone. <coughs> oh, pfft. What? I find that to be a little bit of bullshit there. I might as well drink that since... <laughs> Good work, Yagami-san. Yo! You guys are Komi Jewel, aren't you? Huh? Komi Jewel? Us? What's going on here, man? This place is empty. Either way, would you? Yagami-san, they seem like RK. I'd rather not have to bullshit them. So, take them down? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we've done any team-up uh, EX moves yet, have we?
Yagami-san, looks like the top floor is up ahead. There's a room on this side too, though. Might be worth checking out. Okay, so they want me to go up, but let's see what's over here. A save? Oh, wow, okay. Um. I guess. My health isn't exactly at the max, but it's at a decent spot. Um, skills. Let's see here. Um, where is it? I want the Verge of Death. I need the book, book of the brink, and I need to learn dragon's clenching fist, crane beast slayer, secret technique, twisting viper. Allows more reversal to be used against an enemy attack. Applies only during the XP while your health is low. One, two, three, four. So that'll be all my skills on abilities then. Actually, maybe I should go save. You know what? I'm going to go save again because I don't want to have to go through that bullshit of saving all my... Of unlocking all those skills again. Wish we'd had some sign of Kiwana san but maybe we'll still get lucky. Are you we'll ready see. to go, Yagami san? Yep, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Man, where is this fucking guy? It's just taking forever. Yeah, it's not like anyone else is here. You think the cops got it wrong? Then what do we do? Keep looking? Is there a fucking point? Yeah, okay, I know this looks like... It seems like Kowanasan's giving them a slip. What's the plan now? Let's find out what RK's gonna do when they catch Kawana. Are they planning to kill him themselves? What? You gonna just stroll up and ask him? Well, I only count four of them. So, two each. Piece of cake? Yeah. I guess. Okay, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. Got a couple questions for you. Huh? Who the hell are you two? You with the Kome Jewel? Wow, they don't even recognize you, Yagami-san? Well, that's kind of sad. What's going on here? Huh? Uh, Yagami-san? I don't think it's just two each anymore. Oh well. Yagami? Hey, that's the detective from Komurocho! A detective? Just get him! They're with Kitakata! Fuck yeah. Let's get it started. Fuck Hope you're yeah. ready to die. <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit. Oh. Why does this always happen to me? Why does this always happen? Let's go. I actually want to see like how many more guys I need to beat in both like with Tiger and um 
Well, not Tiger with uh, and Crane and Snake, and how much I need to do e them in EX as well. Hey, you can hurt someone with that. That was fun. I don't think I got hit at all during that. Ah, that might be a lie. Is that all you got? I thought there were more of you guys. Let's not jinx it, man. You guys came looking for Kuwana, right? What were you gonna do to him? We were just told to catch him. <sighs> not sure what comes after that. You sure the plan wasn't to kill him? I said I don't know. Who gave the order here? Soma? <sighs> it was Akusa-san. Probably on Soma-san's orders, though. Hey, uh... Yagami-san? Oh, call me Jewel. Hey, how come Ijincho has so many creepy masks? I was just gonna ask you. Kuana's not here. Huh? That intel was fake. We were the ones who put it out. Oh, they, they want me? You live here? Then you must be Komichuo. Normally, it's us hiring the handyman, but this time it was Kuwana asking the favor. Huh? To put out false information? Yes. He said he wanted to see what kind of enemy he was dealing with, and how they'd respond to an eyewitness report. Seeing as how easy police info made its way to these thugs, I'd say he was wise to use caution. Were he any closer, he would have been ensnared by now. So Kawana's nearby, watching everything unfold as we speak? He's really in a Jincho then? We'll have to clear the room to discuss that. Hey! Why are you looking at me? Well, time to knock Hi. you out! As you said, Kawana's return to a Jincho. There are benefits to being here that only he can exploit. Where's he hiding out? Under the protection of Tesso from the Yokohama Leomon. Ah. But you cleared to see him. We already took care of that. Kawana actually said he'd meet us? Hmm. Come on. There's a way through the cops don't know. You can get out to the city from there. <laughs> That'd be helpful, thanks. Oh, is it the same underground thing that we Guess took you're not in so bad after all. Bear in mind, you may not leave alive if you come back. You were never welcome here. And never mind. And never mind. I would be so interested if there ever is going to end up being like some kind of like a crossover. Like, it doesn't have to be the main focus of the game, but like maybe a little bit so, of the game between Seven and uh, I'm sure the Liu or between Yakuza too. and it so happens I've got a brother there named Tessa. Oh, what? Now let's get there before Kawana changes his mind. Can I eat? So yeah, we're gonna eat. And also get drunk. Starving. Yeah, pretty tasty. Thanks. Arigato. Oh, he just let me. He was like, yeah, dude, you go eat. Whatever.
Oh, the item's gone. And I don't know. Ow. Come on, Sugiya, grab him. Alright, sweet, there's another place we can eat at. Sorry, now that my shit's getting low again. Why is this always I only do this in Tiger? Come on. guys No Let me in No Starving ESP or uh, SP gain It's pretty tasty thanks Arigato oimashita. So, you Yagami Yanaki? Tesso san told me to let you in. Uh, Yagami Yanaki? <laughs> Will you be coming inside? I Miss mean, Kwan's back there. Maybe yeah, I should prep before going in. No. Understood. As in, save the game.
So you're uh, young. Are you becoming? Sure. Let me pass. This way, please. So, Aniki, do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take your seat. And you too, buddy. You too, buddy. This will be fun. And which of your names should we be using for you now? Kiwana? Or do you prefer Kitakata Sensei? Kitakata is a name that's been all but murdered by society. Any Jincho? I'm just a merry old handyman Kuana son. If you ask the cops, you're the murder suspect Kitakata. After killing Sawa Sensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? So, Kuana hired you guys from the start. And you pretended to not know each other in front of me? If that's the case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. Yeah. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. <laughs> I love really Tesso so much. Anything? Did you tell him all you've done? He's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. Can't be much more to hide than that. Need any more convincing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? Very good, Sugiira-kun. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. <laughs> you were just over at Komi Jewel, weren't you? RK was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? Who has influence over both RK and the police? Care to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yes. yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Uh -huh. Who? Just heard this from Detective Watanabe. The ones looking for Kiwana are... Technically Public Security. The Public Security Division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD said. According to them, you're the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawa Sensei's place is gone. Likely public security's work. And with that kind of backing, it's understandable why RK is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kuwana in the first place? Why is public security after Kiwana? Likely the wish is a specific individual. Yep. Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. What? Kiwana, you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, Mitsuruku. Mitsuru. And painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawai out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer, didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health. And she's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. 
Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to have me silenced and use public security to do it. Exactly. Except public security can't just go after you, so they subcontracted RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. Yeah. Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. Something does stick out. Oh, did you not go What's to her? That? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago about okay. taking revenge on Shinya Kawai. And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So, if Kusumoto-san wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Which means, Kusumoto-san mm, isn't true. the one giving them orders. So if Reiko Kusumoto was giving orders to public security, she could have gotten to Kawai much quicker. Sure, that makes some sense. Hey, so sorry if this is off topic, but what was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO, and that was a first for her. Hmm. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto-san. She drove the knife into his chest personally. Oh. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just like Akihiro Ehara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. She killed Kawai herself? Current vice minister of, mis in, in, of the Ministry of Health commit murder? That's true, she's had to keep that in a long time. Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. Woof. I was the only one who knew that, by the way. The others have no idea. On that day, five years ago, I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. And I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. This sounds way too crazy to be real. Even so, the fact is Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed me. Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. God, who, who is, is the is Puppet Master then? Well, I'd say your theory is on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Either way, whoever's pulling the strings is someone who'll benefit from your capture. Or your death. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, maybe it's one of her enemies? An enemy? Yeah, like someone within the Ministry of Health. Or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or... They could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why mm. public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Ours behind our camp public security must be an enemy of Re Reiko Kusumoto. That seems to me be the most logical train of thought. Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health anytime she wants. Plus, she has the public's support. Especially with the younger crowds. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. <laughs> like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. <laughs> Don't be a dick. So whoever's behind this may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. Yeah. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawai also vanished five years ago. Regardless... 
That this wouldn't account for the mysteries. rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country killing them off, aren't you? Kawhi makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. It leads straight to her. Reiko Kusamoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah. And then... To Ahara's case. The link between him and Kusamoto is clear as day now if you know what you're looking for. That link... Sawa sensei it took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was RK. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? You don't care. You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? It's basically like Red Hood in a way. Except... Sawa Sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. She shouldn't have died. No. You don't get to just brush her off like that. Is it Ever time for thought? round two? You had to have two? known you'd go down with this eventually. And you're fine if all your old students like Yui Mamiya go down with you. By then, why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa Sensei died in tears. You didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt oh. was still frozen on her face. You, Ahara, Reiko Kusamoto, you're all murderers, and so far all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me, will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. So what now then? March to the cops and turn myself in. You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death. Even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. And worse. Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that... I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? All she did was scrape off the scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her. Uh, it does like hey, skinny ginger kid. <laughs> skinny ginger kid. Looks like this is gonna turn into a little more than a chat. Good thinking. Skinny ginger kid. So is your plan to kill me too? Anyone who interferes with your justice, we all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell! Ooh. Stay out of my way! Alright, here's another fight. I'm pretty sure we'll not, we're never... Go. At least we shouldn't have to fight him again Bring after this. Ah. He's had the most health so far out of everyone, I believe. Damn, if only I was a little more drunk. Bring it up. 
Bye, Kiwana. God, I like Kiwana so much. Like, like I said, he's Red Hood. He's Red Hood from ba Batman in a way. I just love that Sugiyara just standing there. Actually, both of them standing there. How long has this been going now? I lost track. <laughs> Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out eventually. <laughs> Why is this so Being fucking the good? Each other is the way some people communicate. Why is this so fucking good? I can see that. I can see that. Ooh, that was a good shot. Yo, one of those is gonna be a thumbnail. Either the one where they both hit each other or that one right there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, it's about that time. Uh, haven't you had enough yet? What? You think it's time to give it a rest? Hell no. Stay out of our way. <laughs> You're not looking so hot. <laughs> Lucky I stopped when I did, you know. <laughs> I had a move lined up with your name on it. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass. <sighs> what a fucking mess, guys. I love those, these two idiots. I love these two idiots so much. <gasps> Yo! Yo! What the fuck, bro? Yo! Yo! What the fuck? I mean, it makes sense that she's here, but still, goddamn! One of our higher ups cooked this himself. Look good if there's any left. Not a problem. This stuff's great. Yo, this is awesome, yo! Delicious. Is it Robbie again? This is the good stuff. Ah, uh, he's not gonna speak, is he? Yo, why are you here? So Where's Ichiban? Samoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. You know what's hilarious is her initials are RK. So catch me as leverage against Kusumoto-san on public security orders, but that's only if public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it. The fact that you're enemy number one while RK roams free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're up against. Public security is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. Then I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? That'd be public ah. security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you notice, it's too late. They've got you. And that's exactly what they'd want, right? Mmm, I guess that makes sense. What if you two work together? You watch each other's backs and act before RK and public security do. You might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. You could say yeah. to catch a tiger. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure, I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we finish with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay, uh, then where do we start? Should we just storm public security at this point? No, this isn't no. a Yakuza game! First, we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right, we'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. Then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aw, look at the boys playing nice. If public security is trying to find some leverage against Kusumoto-san, they'll likely be listening in on her. They're the experts in wiretapping and espionage, after all. We just need a quick confirmation. How? 
<laughs> we'll just give her a call. Right here? Yes. That way, her enemy will trace the call and pinpoint our location. And public security is the only one in Japan who can pull that off, so we'll know right away if it's them. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up! You saying if you call up Reiko Kusumoto, then the bad guys will start pouring in? Can we maybe not do that here? Actually, that might just work in our favor. Huh? Bro, why are you talking crazy? Uh, Yagami-san, you sure about getting on bro terms without Kaito-san? Wouldn't that bum him out? But he's hurt. Oh, this is amazing. What is this? Good shit, huh? You've got good taste, bro. I knew you of all people would notice the difference. Kuana, when was the last time you spoke to Reiko Kusumoto? Five years ago, on the night she killed Kawai. We arranged it so we'd never contact each other after that. So you have her number then? If it hasn't changed. What is it then? I have an idea. What? We're gonna set a trap to find out if we really are up against public security. If they trace the call and they send people for us, then we know for sure it's them. That's why we're gonna call Reiko Kusumoto using a location that doesn't exist at all. How's that work? We'll use two phones that can't be traced back to us, and we'll relay your voice. Obviously, you won't be wherever we do this from. Best to do this someplace with no one around. Once we see who they send in, mission accomplished. Wait, what's mm. happening? <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You'll catch up, sugiyura -kun. First, we need to know our enemy. I'll have Tsukumo prep us some burner phones. Which means... a truce for the time being? Only while you're here. Gotta keep things civil for my brother. <laughs> Zhao Zhao's cooking makes even the suckiest situations not suck. Cheers to that! Zhao, yeah. That's what I said before, right? Is that the end of the chat? No, nope, it's still going. Okay. Hey. So Tsukumo-kun's already got the phones ready. They're burners that can't be traced back to us. Two of them, right? Just like you asked for. Nicely done, Yokohama 99. You work quick. Okay, time to go see Tsukumo. I can't believe, wow, this is actually still laying down here. Let's keep going, let's keep going. I have a feeling we're getting very close to the end of the chapter. Like, as soon as we find out who it is, that's the end of the chapter. Okay, I don't think I need these for the fight with Amon. I think what I'm going to be... Uh, oh, not, maybe these. Like, maybe one of these. Like, whatever this one is, I might get that. Which is strange that I haven't gotten that book yet. I don't know. I, I have to go check out the... Um, Got about 40 left before we get. I actually want to see if I can. Can I feed Rompo here? If, whenever they'll let me. Ah, just the two I've been waiting for. Excellent work, by the way. Hey, got those burner phones ready? <laughs> of course I do. Who do you think I am? I still don't fully get what's going on. Yagami-san, what are we going to do with these? Okay. I'll break it down. First, we call Kawana on one phone. Let's say this one here. Then we use this other phone to call Reiko Kusamoto. Using them that way. The phones won't be connected to each other, but their voices will be relayed so they can talk normally. Oh, okay. And then? If public security finds out Reiko Kusamoto's talking to Kawana, they'll trace the call without actually finding him. And we can see exactly who they send without risk of being seen ourselves. Mm-hmm. I think I'm getting it. 
Surely you don't intend to do that here, do you? That would put a beacon on us for Kiwana-san's enemies. Yeah, we'll do it somewhere remote. We need a place where nobody would raise an eyebrow at an army of public security boys. And it's gotta have a good vantage point. Hmm. There's a building under construction not far from here. It's late, so no one should be around that may get involved unintentionally. Where is it? It's right near Seirio High. There's a crane by the river, too. You'll know when you see it. Okay. You two stay put. I should be able to handle this alone. Uh, you sure about that? Let me at least put out a drone, Yagamishi. Even if it isn't much. I'll use it to capture the faces of Kiwana-san's pursuers. <laughs> That'd be good. There we go. Get on that. Look who it is. Hey, what you got for me, buddy? Who's a good boy? The rebar belt, number one. When can I feed him? Like, why do they let me get dog food? My hell's not all the way up, but it's decently close enough, I'd say. But no, seriously, why do they give me dog food if I can't even fucking... If I can't even feed him. Where's my heat gauge at? Okay, it's definitely not where I'd like it. So, you know what? Let's go eat here, and I know for sure they should have, like... I want to see how much, um... Really, guys? I also want to see, like, how, um... I still got to take a lot more pictures and fly the drone. That's what those are. I'm close to fighting all of them. Close to defeating enemies with uh, EX boost. Tiger, I know I'm already done with. Crane, I'm nowhere close. I was about to say I'm probably more closer with Snake than anything than I am, so. I could definitely do all those mission ones right there. Yeah, this is definitely the most expensive place. Like, look, Starving. almost 70,000. But the good news is... Pretty tasty. Thanks. Everything's up. Arigato. And I can find some materials. And I'm also at peak drunkenness. Which means... When I get most likely to get into the fight with who will be... Excuse me. I'm not even gonna try to attempt to skateboard while drunk. I do like the ones where 
you know, I think the find the material ones are the good ones. This must be the construction site Tsukumo was talking about. Alrighty. This is Tsukumo. Yagami Sheep, I've confirmed your position. Yeah. I think I can spot whoever comes close from here. I'm gonna call Kawana on the burner now. Understood. It's Kawana. You ready? I'm about to call Reiko Kusamoto. Once you're connected, you take it from there. It's been five years since I last spoke to her. Yeah. Can't imagine this won't be awkward. I know. Okay. Oh, I was about to say, oh, call him, and then he's just gonna, like, throw it somewhere? He's not gonna place it there. Oh, hello. Vice Minister of, Minister of the Ministry of Health, Reiko Kusumoto. Yes, hello. This is Kitakata, from Kurokawa Academy. What? You'll have to forgive me for this, but the position I'm in required me to reach out to you. I would never have done this otherwise. I should also note, there's a high probability this phone call is being tapped. I see. Very well, then. It's been 13 years, Kusumoto-san. So it has. Kitakata Sensei. I've read about your accomplishments. To think you'd become a vice minister. You never really know how things are going to work out. Ah, uh, but that's not true at all, Kusumoto-san. You were always destined to move up in the world. I've got to be honest with you. A woman as virtuous and as capable as you deserves the world and then some. But... How is Mitsuru-kun? I'm afraid he's still asleep. Nothing's changed. I see. I wish I had the words. What is it you wanted? If you've been watching the news, you've probably already heard. I've become a prime suspect for a crime. They think I murdered Yokosawa in her apartment. I've heard. Obviously, it wasn't me who killed her, of course. Do you happen to remember Sawakun by any chance? The girl from your class. She was the only one of those students who ever came to visit Mitsuru. But even then, that's been at least Ooh, wow. 10 years now. I got a letter from her once. She wanted to tell me she'd become a teacher. But I never did reply. And that was the last I'd heard from her. I see. So back to my question. What do you want? I hope you weren't planning to ask me for a favor. I'm afraid the answer would be no. No, it's not that. It's just... I wanted to let you know that at some point, someone may come to you to ask a few questions about me. I thought I should give you a heads up. I'll make every effort to ensure they won't cause any trouble for you, Kusumoto-san. I'm sorry about this. I'll try to handle it from my side. So in your opinion, then, do you believe anything related to you could cause me any trouble? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be just fine. We're almost to the signal. Kill the headlights. Two cars inbound. Looks like we were right on the money. This proves Reiko Kusumoto's phone is compromised. And if there's one organization capable of tracing a call and moving on it, it's got to be public security on the hunt for Kawana. Public security is really coming straight to you by car? No. There's no way they can mobilize their people that quickly. My guess? It's gotta be the prefectural police that they've got in their pocket. Or it's just RK. I will say it's been great to hear your voice again. But this should be the last time you ever hear from me. I'll try my best. I understand. Goodbye. Hey, look. 
It's a drone. It has a phone attached to it. Shoot it. Shoot it down. You sure? Uh, just take it down. Hurry it up. Hey, what the fuck are you aiming at? Yeah, what the fuck are you aiming it's at? Too small. Shit. Damn, dude. How the hell are we supposed to chase down a drone? And where the fuck is this Kuana guy? Who knows, man? They called us in to catch this shithead, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? It's fucked up. Do we look like spec ops? Yeah, right? But at least you gotta shoot that thing. <laughs> this is my second time, actually. I took a few shots at some kids in a park. <laughs> I aimed at the ground and sent those little shits running for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> We're done here. Pack it in! That's six punks and only one gun between you by my count. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? It was you guys in charge. I'm sure Kiwana would have had this whole thing solved a long time ago. Well, then again, I suppose I do have to give you credit for how fast you made it here. <sighs> that was my gun, asshole! Who's the one giving the orders? You may as well just level with me. You guys are RK's bottom rung, right? It sounds like you must know Kuana. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna be leaving here empty-handed after all. Yeah, sure. Come on! We're taking this guy in, boys! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Uh-huh. Yeah. <sighs> Kind of KO. Definitely Crane and Snake are definitely the ones that I have the furthest away from. And there we go. Who sent you here? The order came from the head honchos in RK. You mean Soma? Not that high up. It was one of the bosses. There's a bunch of them. What did they tell you to do once you found Kuwana? They just said to catch him. Well, they also made it very clear not to kill him. <laughs> like we'd pull the trigger. We never even heard what our cut was. Just another useless grunt. <laughs> Tell me, gentlemen, how would you feel if you found out you were just pawns in public security's game? Uh, we're playing what game now? I suggest you quit RK while you can. Go tell your buddies, get them out too. Otherwise, they'll keep you in the dark, use you and toss you aside. And then, you'll end up in a ditch there's no crawling out of. Ooh, subtle there, Yagami. Yes? Pardon me. You would be Reiko Kusumoto, correct? Sir, it's a little late for this. And how'd you get in here in the first place? I've expressly forbid having visitors. <laughs> Come now. I'm a coordinator with the National Police Bureau, but I'm sure you're familiar with my division Bando. of public security. Bando is my name. Bando. Are you now? Well, I'm afraid coordinator is rather vague. I have a more public-facing title as well, of course. 
But I'm trying to be discreet here, so let's not get bogged down with minor details. It's in our best interests. I'm afraid that won't help. I've already seen to that. What is this? There's a question I need answered with some urgency, Kusumoto-san. It concerns the disappearance of a certain individual. Huh. About five years ago, a man vanished off the streets of Kamurocho. I'm sure you'll recognize him. A former classmate of Mitsuru could be here. Shinya Kawai. I believe there are things you might know. I can say that with some level of certainty, as a matter of fact. This feels very end of chapter -y. Hey, I was right. Awesome. Ooh, okay. That is it, guys. That's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Lost Judgment. In the next part, guys, we continue chapter 11. Uh, if there's 12 chapters, that means there's only two chapters left, which is awesome. And we may be getting close to the Amon fight. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click and comment down below. Check about the video. Didn't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of the reveals that we've gotten with everything so far. I thought that was very interesting. So, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to our main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG, Kim Kutura, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.